The median price of homes in Oahu was at 1 million in October. Labor shortages nationwide are affecting the housing prices and slowing down home building. And foreign investors and big corps like Zillow are buying up homes for investments or resale. So yeah, let's talk about it. Stay tuned for your quarter four 2021 market updates coming right up. What's up guys, I'm Vince, Hawaii Realtor and Creator and welcome to my channel where I put the real in real estate. In today's episode, I'll be going over a recap of what you missed in quarter one, two and three of 2021, what you can expect going into 2022 and whether or not you should or should not buy or sell your home in the coming year. Spoiler, not all of you should and you should stick around to find out why. Guys, full disclosure, this is what I do for a living and I would benefit a lot by telling you that you absolutely need to buy a home next year, but that is simply not the truth, not for everyone at least. I'm here only to provide the facts, to inform and educate. It is up to you to determine whether or not it is right for you to invest now. All right, so let's jump right into the facts. Let's start with the biggest headliner of all, and that is the median price of homes in Oahu for single family homes hits about a million in quarter three. So as you can tell, it has been a red hot market for homeowners, more specifically home sellers, with buyers and especially those that don't already own a home getting the short end of the stick. Now, there are obviously bigger implications of this for the increase of home prices in terms of the affordability crisis for our generation. Um, and I will discuss this, but that is not for this video. For now, what's important is that you understand that this is an indicator that prices of homes are generally just increasing. Now, I'm obviously stating the obvious, but I do want to mention that this is not just a Hawaii issue. This is all over the US. We're talking about places like Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, as well as places in Virginia like Alexandria and Arlington. And then especially on the west side, of course, in California, like places like San Fran, Oakland, uh, San Diego, LA. All of these places obviously have something in common and it's that they are the most popular places to be the most desirable places and they're all experiencing the same level of home price increases. So specifically in Oahu here, we are seeing at least an increase of 15% since last year, this same time the home prices were about $895,000 for a single family home. So lucky for you, if you sold your home in 2020 and especially in 2021, you made the most amount of gains for the sale of your home than anyone has in the last decade. And so here is the obvious truth. It is only getting more competitive nationwide in highly desirable areas and the prices will only continue to go up. We know this has been happening for a while because on a national level, the population overall has increased and it's continuing to increase and we're running out of room. Maybe not in Wyoming, but <laughs> everywhere else. But I'm going off on a tangent a little bit. This is part of the affordability crisis that we will discuss in the future, so stay tuned for that. But that being said, the uptake in the medium home prices nationwide may have reached its peak and just maybe we are starting to see a shift in the market in favor of buyers. More of this to come at the end of this video. So because of the ever increasing competition in the resale markets, a lot of local home buyers have been shifting over to new builds such as Whole Pili, Coal Ridge, and some affordable housing in Honolulu condos. But there lies another problem lumber prices that's right the price of wood so at the beginning of the pandemic saw mills shut down just like any other business and home building had halted for a short while but all at once homeowners that were stuck in quarantine took to the stores and remodeled their homes in the masses restaurants and stores had to reconstruct their business to accommodate the covid regulations and of course there was a huge demand for new housing because of the low interest rates and new buyers entering the market. Overall, this caused a shortage of wood, and so in order to offset this demand, prices of lumber had to come up. So why should you care? Let's backtrack here. So a lot of first-time home buyers that were priced out of the resale market went to the second option, which was new builds. But with a shortage of wood and a labor shortage, yes, right now we are seeing a high rate of unemployment, or at least in the beginning of the pandemic, in the middle of the pandemic. This means a shortage of supply of wood being shipped to Oahu, as well as a shortage of overall manpower to build the new homes. 
This means a slowdown in the lottery system or just building new homes in general, thus creating another problem for any home buyers trying to secure a home on Oahu. But that was at the beginning of 2021. We are seeing better lumber prices, so that does translate to there being more supply of wood and maybe getting back to its regular amounts, but it may take a bit more longer for us to fully recover, so we can expect home building overall to be slower than we hoped for. Okay, so moving on. Are foreign investors, big corporations, and hedge fund managers buying up all these homes with all cash offers, beating out the local home buyers? The answer, yes but maybe not as crazy as headlines would want you to believe. Personally, I've been hearing locals here quote almost 50% of homes being bought up by foreign investors or big corporations. 50% is kind of a large number, and that is not the case. Guys, investors and secondhand buyers made up only 17% of home sales in 2021. Now, to be fair to you guys, 17% is a lot more than you would hope for as a local home buyer. And we definitely seen an increase in investors buying up homes as investments and the prices of rentals going up. But to be clear, this is nothing new. It's been happening for a while. And if you think that nothing is being done about it, then you'd only be half right. There are regulations and deterrents for too much foreign investors and secondhand buyers in the form of additional charges and taxes that they have to pay if they're not living and trying to occupy that home as their primary residence. But is this enough to deter wealthier investors from buying up all the homes? Probably not. And hopefully there is a better solution to this. But that being said, if they only make up 17% of the home sales this year, then who is the majority? Well, it's us. But more specifically, I mean first-time home buyers who are just entering the market for the first time and even first-time home sellers that are trying to transition into their new home. Again, people of our generation are entering the housing market for the first time and they're trying to capitalize on that interest rate. If it makes you feel a little bit better, a large portion of these first time home buyers are buying homes with gift funds, as in funds from family that they are using to help them buy a home. Again, this is just for more context and the full picture. It is absolutely hard to buy a home at such a young age without any help, especially right now. And most times it is the special cases, you know, the top percentage of people who make a lot of income our age that are buying up homes so young. Now, don't let this stop you. It is very hard but it's not impossible i will go a little bit more into this at the end of this video so that being said what can you expect going into 2022 so at this very moment in quarter four we are seeing a slowdown in the market with a bit more homes if not the same amount of homes being sold just less competition overall so for a little more context the summertime is usually the busiest for home buying and that's because a lot of these home buyers probably have families that need to be in a home before the school year starts so what that means is anyone that needed to buy a home in the summer like meaning an absolute necessity to buy a home had already done so and anyone else that wasn't exactly serious and they tried the market out and they realized how difficult it is for a home buyer they backed out so we're not seeing the same levels of overbidding and putting more money down now this could be a good sign going into 2022 maybe we're starting to shift into a buyer's market again but that does not mean we're in the clear it could just be because winter time is usually the slowest time of the year for home buying and those that are thinking about selling their house or buying a home is just waiting until after the holidays so if there was a time to sell your home 2022 might be the last time for sellers to capitalize on this current real estate climate and maybe gain some extra money out of the sale of their home now for the semi bad news back in the beginning of this year i did mention that now if you want to also take advantage of these low interest rates but you're not ready to buy and sell don't worry the feds have vowed to keep these rates low at least until 2023 in order to bring our economy back up to its pre-pandemic state yeah well that may still be the case but technically that only sets the standard as to what the interest rates are going to be banks and lenders actually have the authority in terms of what they're actually going to grant you in terms of an interest rate. So 
So as the year is ending and going to 2022, we are slowly seeing lenders raise the interest rates just a bit. So at the start of 2021, you could see as low as maybe a 2.97, uh, 3%. Now, for someone with good credit and the right qualifications, we're seeing on average maybe a 3.25 to a 3.5. For perspective, that additional 0.5% difference can equate to about $30,000 in additional interest that you pay on your loan. Now, this is not to rush you or scare you if you're not ready to enter the market and buy your home, then it is what it is, right? At least we can expect the interest rate to be relatively low for a while longer. And it is a lot lower than it was, let's say like a decade ago or 20 years ago where it was 7% or in the 90s where it was as high as 10% interest rate. So that being said, should you buy a home or sell your home in 2022. For my buyers who are buying their first home, you wanna make sure that if you're entering the market, you are ready and that you are committed to being in this home for at least the next seven to 10 years at the minimum. This will give you enough time to build equity because you may be over leveraged at this point. And then it'll give you enough time for the market to turn around in your favor as it's your time to sell your home. Now for my sellers or my current homeowners, if you are sitting on equity right now and you're thinking maybe you want to enter the market, sell your home, upgrade into a bigger home or even downsize because maybe your family is not living at your big house anymore. 2022 may be the last year where you could gain the same amount of earnings that someone that sold their house did in 2020 and 2021. Guys, on average, homeowners gain about $50,000 worth of equity in their home this year. So that being the case, if you want to take advantage of that, do keep in mind, Hawaii has always had a inventory problem so you may be scared that if you sell your home you may not be able to find a home and that's understandable but understand that within the contract if you were going to contract with a home you want to buy there's a contingency in there that makes sure that before you sell your home you have to find a home first so that way you're not uh, in limbo without having a new home so to tie everything together if there is an overall message here that must be heard it is this it is absolutely difficult to buy a home in Hawaii but not just Hawaii we're talking about anywhere that anyone would actually want to live right <laughs> with the increase in demand and the prices and not enough homes being built fast enough it is only going to get more expensive as time goes on how expensive we don't know but if you truly want to stay on this island, stake your claim, you know, your home, your place here, I highly recommend that you get prepared to buy a home because what comes up must come down. Meaning if it's a seller's market now, eventually a buyer's market is coming and that's going to be in your favor. It's getting competitive. Yes. But let's be clear. There were more homes that were sold in this year and then in the last Decade. That is how the housing market is and in most markets we will always try to meet the demand and the ones that look out are usually the ones that were prepared for the right time. So again get started now get prepared. Also to add to this Hawaii is implementing and advocating more for affordable housing. I will go over this in more detail in another video but we're looking at upwards of at least 40,000 homes that are going to be built in the next decade or two for this next generation, for you guys to be able to stay here as locals. So the moral of this story is that headlines are supposed to catch your eye. It is their business to catch your attention with the most outlandish claims. It's true, things are not perfect, but that doesn't mean we're hopeless. If anything, things have gotten better over the last decade and it's gonna continue getting better. Okay, so that's everything that you need to know if you feel like you're gonna buy a home or sell a home in the coming year. Guys, on a side note, on top of this real estate stuff like the market updates and the home buying tips, if you're also into entrepreneurship, you know, building a business or personal development, as in striving to be the better version of yourself and at the same time living a full life, then I invite you to subscribe and join my tribe because that's everything that I'm about and I'd love to meet more people that are about the same thing. So hopefully you found value in this video. Stay tuned. Again, I'm going to go over many topics about the affordability crisis and the solutions that we have in place that could solve this problem and everything that you can do as a Hawaii local to protect yourself. If you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or if you feel like you want to chat, that's fine too. Anyways, have a blessed day. Have a blessed life. You deserve it. Peace.